hello students welcome to another interesting inspiring and motivational class of beehive chapter 8 reach for the top the same chapter the first part santosh yadav santosh yadav despite of all the obstacles of all the challenges tried to prove herself in the best possible way and achieved her goal she was the youngest woman in the world to achieve this feat and yes it was not less than a miracle now if we go to her character student she was not just a mountaineer she had so much of concern and care for her other friends those who used to move along with her those who used to climb the mountain with her this was evident from quite few instances which we are going to learn further but that care that concern for others created a special place in the heart of the fellow climbers she was always keen to help others how and what made her do this we are going to learn in the next paragraph during the 1992 everest mission santosh yadav provided special care to a climber who lay dying at the south call she was unfortunately unsuccessful in saving him however she managed to save another climber mohan singh who would have met with the same fate had she not shared her oxygen with him so what happened during the 1992 everest mission she was climbing the mountain and suddenly she saw her fellow climber was in pain he was breathless she wanted really to help him and she did all her means to help her fellow climber but unfortunately she was not successful in saving him and he lost his life but this was not the only instance there was another instance when she helped another fellow climber mohan singh who was just dying for the lack of oxygen she shared her oxygen with this fellow climber and his life was saved so this was an indication of how sympathetic how kind and how caring she was during her expedition also children sometimes in your life you don't have to follow your dreams blindly sometimes you have to develop this care for the people around you this love for the fellow people those who are always nearby you and those who may be strangers for you but you cannot ignore them this is a special quality of human beings you know we are special we are human beings we are the most amazing creation of the world and what distinguishes us what separates us this special care this bonding this affinity for others to help this caring for others this is what humanity is all about and you could see it very well in the case of santosh yadav she was concerned for others as well so we should learn this quality from santosh yadav and try to inculcate in our lives isn't it yes next let us move to the next part within 12 months santosh found herself a member of an indo nepalese women's expedition that invited her to join them she was so fortunate she was so lucky that she got so many invitations to join she then scaled the everest a second time thus setting a record as the only woman to have scaled the everest twice and securing for herself an india a unique place in the annals of mountaineering in recognition of her achievements the indian government bestowed upon her one of the nation's top honors the padma shri you know it is always said that opportunity knocks at your door once and you have to grab that opportunity isn't it but some are very fortunate like santosh yadav she got this opportunity a second time wasn't she so fortunate and lucky wasn't she blessed yes of course she got this invitation from the indo nepalese 
women's expedition to join them and that led to her another achievement. What was the achievement? She was the woman to scale Mount Everest twice just within a gap of one year. It was in the year 1992 when she scaled it for the first time and this was in May 1993 when she scaled it for the second time. So that created a unique place in the records of mountaineering. She created a different place for her. She carved a niche for herself. Isn't it amazing children? Yes, it is. When you have that passion with you, when you have that strong willpower with you, you can achieve anything. And yes, her efforts were recognized. Her efforts were appreciated. And that's why she was honored with the highest awards of the country. That's the Padma Shri. So, we learn from this that if you have the positivity in your mind, if you have that mental toughness in your mind, if you have that strong willpower with you, nothing in this world is impossible for you. And yes, if you have a dream in your eyes, don't stop yourself for dreaming because there is the way ahead of you and you have to walk with challenges ahead and then only you will be able to reach your goal. Now let us see what happened next. Describing her feelings when she was literally on top of the world, Santosh has said, it took some time for the enormity of the moment to sink in. Then I unfurled the Indian tricolor and held it aloft on the roof of the world. The feeling is indescribable. The Indian flag was flying on top of the world. It was truly a spiritual moment. I felt proud as an Indian. Also, a fervent environmentalist, Santosh, collected and brought down 500 kilograms of garbage from the Himalayas. Now, students, you could feel the intense feelings of Santosh when she was on the top of the world. And what a proud moment it is, what a proud feeling it is when you are holding your country's national flag with you. And it is also at the top of the world. It is really such a proud moment, students, isn't it? When you feel so great being a true Indian, when you make not only yourself proud, but you make your country proud. That moment was really the enormity of the moment. That great special moment was really beyond words to explain. She fell short of words to describe this, to explain this. How proud moment it would have been for her when she would have unfurled, when she would have unfurled, opened like and hoisted the tricolor at the top of the world. Such a proud moment for her. And this moment would really be without any description. It would be very difficult to describe such special moments in your life, isn't it? She was not only a mountaineer student. She had so much of strong concern and care, not only for her fellow climbers, but also for her environment. You should know that when she was on her expedition, she had collected almost 500 kilograms of garbage from the Himalayas. You would have heard these numerous stories of these inspiring people around us who have taken this mission, Swachhata mission, very seriously. And there are people, those who are cleaning the roads, the streets, the lanes, the beaches, in fact. And this was the young woman, in spite, like before it had already started, so many years back, she had already started this Swachhata mission before even it was announced by our Honorable Prime Minister. She had started this long back when it was never even thought of. Imagine the intensity of her feelings towards her environment. So she cared about her environment and she did this on her own. Nobody insisted her, nobody compelled her. But that was the love for her country, for her environment which made her do so. So this is what we learnt about Santosh Yadav. 
Now, as we have already completed the chapter, let's summarize the whole chapter and it will remind you whatever we have already learnt. So, we got to know that Santosh Yadav was born in Haryana in a small village but she was very determined and she was against the prevailing customs and traditions of the village. When she was going to be born, a holy man came to their home and he blessed the mother for a son but to his astonishment the grandmother wanted a daughter. So it was also very surprising for the family at the time when the birth of a girl was not considered to be that much auspicious. She was born into a conservative society but she didn't accept the ways and the customs of the prevailing society and she wanted to live the life with her own terms. So we could know that she was a courageous girl. Anyhow, she pursued her education in the local village but when it was the time to pursue higher education, she moved to Jaipur. She anyhow convinced her parents to support her because she threatened them that if they don't then she is not going to marry because without proper education she will never be ready for the marriage and hence they supported her and they allowed her to pursue further education. This was the time when she stayed at Kasturba hostel and she got to see this villagers climbing a mountain and she had this urge and desire to learn about mountaineering. So from there her journey started, a new journey started and where she scaled great heights just within four years she got very skilled in this mountaineering and with her strong determination, her hard work and mental toughness, she became the youngest woman to scale Mount Everest so easily. And after one year, she was again a member in the Indo-Nepalese women expedition and she created history again when she climbed Mount Everest twice just within the consecutive year. So this is what made her got the Padma Shri award. She was also very much concerned for her fellow climbers. She helped Mohan Singh, her fellow climber with the supply of oxygen while they were climbing. And she also was concerned for her environment. How could we know about it? Because she helped to collect a garbage of 500 kilograms from the Himalayas. So this is what we learnt about Santosh Yadav in this chapter. So students, the moral of this story is, sweet are the uses of adversity we can say and if you have the strong determination then you can never fail in your endeavours. You will definitely reach your goal with the toughness of your mind and with your hard work and determination. You have to be focused and you have to never lose your hope and you have to work really very very hard to achieve success and to reach your desired goal and then the success will be all yours. So we have already covered the chapter of Santosh Yadav and I do believe that you have understood it very well. Now let us move forward for our question answer session. Now you have the first question, why was the holy man who gave Santosh mother his blessing surprised? I will repeat the question, why was the holy man who gave Santosh mother his blessings surprised? Yes, you know the answer? Yes, the answer is the holy man was surprised to bless the mother because the grandmother asked for the blessing of a daughter instead of a son. It was quite contrary of the prevailing customs and tradition during that time. So he was very surprised because most of the families wanted a son in their family. Okay. Now let us move to the next question. When did she leave home for Delhi and why? 
Let me repeat the question. When did she leave for Delhi and why? Now let me discuss the answer with you. She left home for Delhi to get proper education. She was 16 at that time. Okay. Now here is another question for you. Why did Santosh parents agree to pay for her schooling in Delhi? What mental qualities of Santosh are brought into light by this incident? I know you know the answer. Let me share it with you. Her parents got ready because she informed them of her plans to earn money by working part time to pay her school fees. So they were compelled to listen to her and support her. Okay. Here is the question for you. How did Santosh begin to climb mountains? Let me repeat the question for you. How did Santosh begin to climb mountains? Yes, you are all correct. Absolutely correct. She wished to climb mountains when she watched the villagers from her room going up the hill and suddenly vanishing after a while. One day she decided to check it out herself. She found nobody except a few mountaineers. Later she saved money and enrolled in a course at Uttar Kashi's Nehru's Institute of Mountaineering. Then she began to climb mountains every year. Now let us move to another question. What incidents during the Everest expedition show Santosh's concern for her teammates? Yes, students, you are absolutely correct. Here is the answer. Let me share it with you. Santosh Yadav provided special care to a climber who lay dying at the South Pole in 1992 Everest mission. She saved Mohan Singh who would have lost his life if she had not shared her oxygen with him. Now students we have another question for you. What shows her concern for the environment? Let me repeat the question for you. What shows her concern for the environment? Santosh was really concerned for the environment. She collected and brought 500 kilograms of garbage down from the Himalayas. Okay. Now let us move to another question. Here is another interesting question for you from the book itself. How does she describe her feelings at the summit of the Everest? Let me repeat the question for you. How does she describe her feelings at the summit of the Everest? The answer is absolutely correct. She said that it took some time for the enormity of the moment to sink in. It was indeed a great moment for her. She was very proud of her country. She was delighted at this moment and proudly unfurled the Indian tricolor. Okay, students. Now here is another question for you. Santosh Yadav got into the record books both times she scaled Mount Everest. What were the reasons for this? I hope you know the answer. Yes, you are correct. Let me say the right answer now. She was the youngest woman who scaled the Everest. She is the youngest woman who scaled the Everest and she is the only woman who climbed the Everest twice. So these were the reasons why she was in the record books both the times. So here we have come to the end of our question answer session. Hope you have all learnt a lot from this class and it will help you a lot further in your lives. Let us take all the positive attributes of Santosh Yadav in our lives and make our lives more fruitful, more happening and more successful. With this hope, I wish you all the best for your future endeavors. So keep smiling and keep working hard for your future. Thank you. Thank you.